we know that here these two things have, are the same concept, and yet the pixels between those two images are probably, there's not a single pixel in common between these two, right? And so what we do in computer vision a lot nowadays is to basically ask help from labels. We can say, if we bring in semantic, we can say, look, both of them are penguins. That's what unites them together. And so this is where we get this kind of, uh, this is my one slide in tutorial on machine learning. <laughs> machine learning is basically data association. You have your input image coming in, and then you say, I want this image to be associated with the, my label, my label penguin, okay? So I pick up some black box classifier and just say, okay, go from these pixels to this label, okay? And then I do it again for another image, also penguin, also penguin, also penguin, also penguin, right? And like that for, for millions of images, and that's why uh, recently people have started using a lot of convolutional neural networks, deep learning. Why? Because deep learning is really good at processing lots and lots of training data very fast and very efficiently. And that's really the reason why uh, the, the deep learning has taken off, because it's so good at processing lots and lots of data. And then finally, one training is done, at test time, you have a new image, and you push it through the classifier, and then it spits out the associated label for you, right? And that you know, reasonably simple plan actually provided us with a lot of the uh, um, uh, uh, great results in, in computer vision in the last few years. You, most of you know probably the ImageNet Challenge, 1,000 uh, classes, and, and the computers are actually doing better than humans at recognizing some of these images. People are even trying to do some automatic image captioning. You give a computer an image, and, and the computer will spit out a caption. And these two are, for example, really impressive captions. Like, wow, the computer is really understanding what you're talking about. So, you know, is computer vision done? Are we, can we go home now? Well, not quite. So there is a number of challenges. One is that visual day, visual world has what's called long tails. Okay, and the way to understand this is basically there are common things that happen every day, all the time, over and over and over. These are kind of the the, the generic stuff, and then there is also just uh, the specific stuff that happens very very rarely. And the idea of a long tail is that these rare cases, there is a lot of them, right? So the unfamiliar is actually common. And that is a problem because let's look at this captioning example again. So here is an image, we pipe it for the, for the system and it tells us a car parked by the side of the road. So, wow, this is great, you know, there's a car, there's a road, it's on its side, beautiful. But then, um, you know, you go to search on Google and you realize that, you know, half the cars are, could, this, uh, could be said to be parked next to the road because it's a very generic uh, 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 label, right? And then you say, what happens if I give it something uncommon, something unfamiliar, something like this? Well, it still thinks it's a car parked by the side of the road. Well, okay, there might have been a road underneath. What about this? Uh, guess what? It's still car parked because there is car, there is road, and that's was, yeah. So things are not as good as we think they are. 